the intro cares. As opposed to he participates and either a judge makes a ruling on the merits or a jury says, yeah. yes, you're liable. But he's going to turn over his information. There's nothing there. And he's so saying, you can go. Now the judge will decide how much he has to pay. But in the end, the judge, if he doesn't have any money, he's not going to get anything. But, I mean, he'll never be able to start a business again. And if he works and gets paid, he'll have to work under the table. Which, yeah. Yeah, he didn't apologize. No, he didn't apologize. But at this point, he admitted that it wasn't a hook. But this is for all the information prior to that, where they were, the kids were actors and the, birth, and the death certificates were made. The guy's nuts. Now, the, his lawyers do have their side of this. Because, because the plaintiff's side and the judge's ruling is you didn't comply with orders to turn over default judgment. The his attorney's yes, position right. is he did comply with what he needed to and the judge is biased and the judge should be taken off the case. Yeah, where, how far is that going? That's going nowhere. Yeah. Also going nowhere is the recall petition against LA City Councilman Kevin DeLeon. There was a woman named Pauline Adkins who was leading the recall effort and Friday she terminated the position, a petition that is, because she said that one of the five proponents that chose to be removed from the petition, that you have to have five on that petition, and that forced the recall team to uh, recall campaign to have to withdraw because they didn't have enough people. Can't they replace that person? You know, yeah. someone I think you have to start, start again. Over. Yeah. Because you'd think you could just, uh, the law would allow you just to replace that person. Basically, a John Doe uh, coming in, an allegation, stepping in, but I guess not. And she says it's not over. Uh, it's probably over. Unless maybe that's what she meant. I'll start yes. over again. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, this is not over. It's far from over. And the group will uh, re strategize. Yeah, but it's expensive to get signatures. And the second time around, there's a lot of money. And then, are there enough people who are pissed off about Kevin DeLeon? And the big issue oh. is, uh, you know, that tiny town business where they put up these you know, really small little uh, houses and. Uh, you know, I mean, there's a lawsuit about that, but only dwarfs were allowed in there. Oh, what? what? Did I get that wrong? Yeah, yeah. time. Huh. Okay, I misread that. Ex-LA Councilman Jose Lizar's attorneys want some evidence to be suppressed. It's a bunch of emails. Uh, they got a warrant to get these emails, and now his lawyers are saying... You didn't really have any probable cause for the crimes that he's been charged with, so really that warrant was no good, and you shouldn't be allowed to use these emails. Like three years of his emails. Yeah, and uh, it, according to that uh, that lawsuit, or according to that motion, uh, he said that um, the uh, government admitted uh, they lacked probable cause for uh, the basis of federal bribery and uh, uh, the. Uh, yeah, I don't now, I want to go see that application yeah. to see if their characterization of it is if the agent is going, by the way, Your Honor, we don't have any probable cause for federal bribery, mm -hmm. just so you know, but we'd still like you to approve this yeah. warrant. And this, I have a feeling that uh, that is a um, filtered way <laughs> of describing. They also, they're also saying the charges are bogus that because what the things that he's accused of doing, even if, if he did them, don't violate the bribery laws and that you can't criminalize every little favor that a city councilman might that's do. right by the way it's true every little favor a councilman have friends and it's it's okay to give friends the uh, special treatment yeah and that's that's not illegal but when you get paid by friends and that's what this is about a pay for play allegation that's a little different yeah so and i've seen cases like this where the feds have gone too far and a jury ends up going, wait a minute, this is not what you're saying it is. So I don't, I don't know if this is one of them or not, but the, that part of the defense attorney's talking does have potential. All right, take a break. Uh, we'll come back and uh, finish up. Oh, those are a lot of stories here. Finish up handle on the news. Let's check in with Jennifer jones Lee. Border Patrol officers arrested more than 164,000 illegal immigrants on the border last month. That included sharp drops in families and unaccompanied kids. At least three people have been killed in two explosions in Uganda. Officials say three suicide bombers also died in the explosion. And Amazon in the state of California reached an agreement over labor practices. 
that conceals the cases of COVID-19 from workers. The complaint argued that Amazon violated California's right to know law. We're taking a look at your drive on the wedding scene with DKFI in the sky next. Uh, termites uh, swarming all over Southern California, but that's what they do. Uh, this is Termite Central here. Uh, they love the weather like we do, and they love our houses. Uh, well, uh, eat for lunch. And uh, the soil works for them uh, in terms of colonizing, and then they go into your house. I mean, it's just a god-awful mess. So what do you do? Well, there's specific coast termites. Even if you don't know if you have termites, call them for a free home inspection. Certain restrictions apply, and one of two things happen. Number one, you're told no termites. Yay, great news. Or you do have them. It's early days. Let's treat right now before they start doing their damage. Now, if you know you have them, the bugs flying around in a little wood shavings at the baseboard, that's a very easy phone call to make. They come out and treat your house without tenting. Tenting is disastrous. Uh, you have to double bag your food, pet sitting, hotel. None of that happens with Pacific Coast termites. The way they uh, the way they treat without tenting. Call 800 Pacific 800 Pacific. Visit PacificCoastTermite.com. 800 Pacific. Pacific Coast Termite. Termite. The clean, friendly way. Bags under your eyes? That's junk sleep. And mattress firms can help. Shop the Black Friday sale and save up to $500 on top-rated brands you'll love, like Sleepy's. Plus, tear the mattress of your dreams with a free adjustable base with qualifying purchase. So, yeah, weather from KFI, a mostly cloudy day ahead with highs from the low 60s to the upper 70s. This report is brought to you by Mattress Firm. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We're watching the 118. You bet your boy. Eyes wide open here, please. But you're leaving Jimmy now. It's a pretty good drive uh, up, up and over the hill. I can peek over to the 405. It's getting busy around the 5, but uh, that's very predictable. You should allow a little time for that. That's what that. Now 405 itself, it's getting busy fast. It's Roscoe Boulevard up and over the hill. It's kind of normal stuff there. And much one on one from around Tampa. Now, we'll, we'll keep tabs on this for you all morning long. But the 210, east and west 210, from the San Fernando Valley over to Pasadena. Both sides are open. It's just morning drive volume, really. But the Sunland off ranch right outside Angeles National, are shut down in both directions. Closest off ranch, White and Latuna, that'll get the job done for you. Real quick, uh, uh, the west 210 comes uh, out of Pasadena, is really in trouble. It's been a crash at Sunflower, unfortunately, a popular spot for issues, and it's really jammed coming off of 57. But after that, you should be okay moving along into Pasadena. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman at superlawyer.com. Jeff Fogg, AFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Bags under your eyes? That's junk sleep. And Mattress Firm can help. Shop the Black Friday sale and save up to $500 on top-rated brands you'll love, like Sleepy's. Plus, tear the mattress of your dreams with a free adjustable base with qualifying purchase. Well, you've heard me talk about my friends at Sunday and how they can sell your home fast without any repairs, without the hassle of dealing with showings, realtors, cleaning, or making upgrades. Now Sunday has made the process even easier for those who want to sell a property fast. Contact Sunday for your free no-obligation cash offer. They're going to visit your property, take photos, and do a 3D walkthrough. They'll package your property details and send it to the thousands of local investors in their database who are actively looking to buy properties. The average homeowner receives 12 offers on their property. It's quick and easy. Plus, you can close in as little as 10 days, or they have the flexibility to close in months. They can even give you a $20,000 cash advance, which will help with moving costs when you sell a Sunday. Go to Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E.com, or phone them, 825-OFFER. Get a free no-obligation cash offer at Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E.com. Sunday is California licensed real estate broker, DRE license number 020-88298. <laughs> I'm avoiding the chaos of Black Friday by having someone else do my shopping. So, Mom, here's my list. Now your top reasons to visit Maruga. Get a healthy air fryer when you earn 500 points on your reward card, the 22nd or 23rd. Number two. We'll slash up to $100 in your data cost with any football team scores. Sundays, Mondays, and Thursdays in the poker room. And the number one reason. Relax on Thanksgiving. Order your seat. Call 866-234-7006. Morongo. Good time. Looking for a good investment? Want to reduce uncertainty, financial risk, and hedge inflation? Here are eight reasons to consider NRIA's prime real estate development fund. Steady monthly cash flow payouts with double-digit targeted returns. Solid, affordable, high-demand home and apartment assets backing. 
New construction built where housing is badly needed and demand booming. Substantial properties already built and selling right now supporting you. Short and long-term strategies with steady cash flow and appreciation anticipated. An industry leader with a 15-year track record of 3 million square feet built and a pipeline of $1.7 billion of new property in progress. Hedge against inflation and receive steady cash flow. Start your due diligence at nria.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA private placement memorandum. Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at nria.net. As parents, we've done everything we can to keep our kids safe, happy, and healthy during this pandemic. From finding the best face masks to making sure their hands are clean. And now we have the best tool to help keep them even safer. The most important thing we can do is vaccinate our kids to protect them against COVID-19. Vaccines have been proven safe and effective for children 5 and up. Talk to your child's doctor or visit myturn.ca.gov to find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. What does solar mean for your future? Well, that depends on whether your solar is Sunlux Solar. Sunlux Solar means you've unshackled your home from the rising cost of electricity. Sunlux Solar means uninterrupted power during blackouts or natural disasters. It means no more dependence on gasoline because your home fuels your car. Sunlux Solar means saving tens of thousands of dollars over the life of the system. I design homes. I know just how much is riding on your solar. That's why I partner with Sunlux, because Sunlux is solar done right. The most comprehensive warranty of the industry, five-star customer service, critical partnerships with industry leaders like Tesla and LG. With Sunlux, it's a partnership for your home's future. And that future is just a click away at sunlux.com. That's sunlux.com. .com. CSLB 1008374. This Thanksgiving, you could spend all week preparing a massive feast, or you could just go to Sizzler.com slash Thanksgiving, where he can eat Thanksgiving dinners to go start at $84.99. Two pounds of roasted turkey, two pounds of stuffing, three pounds of mashed potatoes with gravy, plus three more pounds of sweet potato casserole, all pre-cooked and ready to serve at home. Take home Thanksgiving dinners for six, start at just $84.99, but you have to order ahead, so Go to Sizzler.com slash Thanksgiving now. Are you at that point where you know you need to restore most of your teeth, maybe all of your upper teeth, all your lower teeth, or even both? Pate Dental's permanent teeth in one day procedure will change your life in just one day. They have zirconia teeth that look completely natural and feel just like your real teeth, but they're even stronger and more resistant to cracking, chipping, or staining. You will bite and chew just like you used to. Smile in photos again and have more confidence when you speak. No more hiding your smile. Tommy Dental has been rebuilding smiles for over 52 years, and their Teeth in One Day procedure is the best option for restoring all of your teeth in just one day. Now, get $1,500 off your procedure. This expires November 30th, and they offer no money down payment plans on approved credit. Don't forget, use your dental insurance by the end of the year. Use it or lose it. Give them a call, Cunny Dental, 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE, 888-640-SMILE. Cunny Dental, making smiles great since 1968. I don't understand why people lose their minds over daylight saving time. The debate over switching clocks is more polarizing now. You can't do something or say something without polarizing people. You have nothing else going on? Gary and Shannon. Weekdays at 10 a.m. You can't pick up a hobby like to learn how to cook Thai food in your own kitchen? On KFI. <laughs> November 16th. Uh, let's go ahead and finish up handle on the news. Jennifer Jones Lee, Wayne Resnick, and me. And the, will the Congresswoman from Wyoming, the Republican, please stand up? Oh, no, she can't because the Wyoming Republican Party no longer recognizes Liz Cheney as a Republican. Now, does she run? Uh, she's not going to get, obviously, the Republican backing, and they're going to back 
uh, one of the Republicans, but maybe not on, you know what, it, during the Republican Party does not back a specific candidate until they're running in the general. So that gets kind of interesting. There's going to be a bunch of people, Republicans, running. There's at least four already. All right. So she's going to, I, I assume she's going to run as an independent. And she may be the only conservative independent out there in forever. I've never heard of conservative independent. Was John Anderson, and that's years and years and years ago, remember? He yeah, don't I remember John what, Anderson? What, he might have been... I think it was more of a po- no. middle of the road. I don't think so. I think he was a populist. Yeah, his I mean, whole he, base, wasn't, he wasn't a progressive. Right. His whole base was young people. And Ro- was, I mean, Rossboro was, was not a left progressive guy either. But to your point, a true conservative independent you generally don't see. Yeah. So we'll see if she, she might be the first, but also what do the people... See, here's the thing. So the party of Wyoming doesn't like her because she wasn't nice to Trump. But we don't get a good sense of what the voters of Wyoming think of her. I guess we're going to now. We yeah. certainly are. Okay, the Attorney General of California, uh, Rob Bonta, has announced a settlement with Amazon. This has to do with Amazon hiding cases of COVID from their own workers. Someone would get COVID and they weren't sharing that information. They are going to, oh, this is going to bankrupt them, Bill. Yeah, I know. Uh, Jen, yeah. you may you may need to switch over to Wayfair or something because Amazon is going to, as part of this settlement, have to pay. Where's that number? It's so massive. I can't. $500,000, which uh, they got simply by going through three or four of the couches and the cushions uh, they have in the break room. Exactly. And, uh, There's five orders from Jen, yeah. and they're covered. I know. Crazy. You know, that is really, it's like the amount of money is so diminished. It's nothing. So what's, the, what's the point then? I understand that publicly you go, they were bad and they... Oh, I don't even think they're admitting that they were right. wrong, right? It's a settlement. You say they've been held to account. Yeah. But, but in a way that is not a deterrent. No. It has to be in the billions of dollars. For it to make a difference to Amazon. Facebook got nailed with billions of dollars. And that they can steal. Half a, half a million seems paltry. It does. Even if you're talking about a much smaller company. Yeah. The Russians were testing some weapons in space. And now... They've got 1,500 pieces of space junk just floating around out there yeah, it's cool. that the seven astronauts on the ISS are having to dodge. Uh, it's, so, it's so insane. The NASA administrator said, it just makes no sense. This is crazy. Because what happens, of course, satellite goes up, blows uh, apart one of their, oh, the missile goes up, blows apart one of their old satellites, the anti-satellite weapon. And so now you have, instead of one big piece, 1,500 small pieces, any one of which, any one of which gets a uh, gets a spacecraft and it can just absolutely decimate it. There was one shuttle that uh, actually was hit by a pea-sized piece of space junk in the window. It hit in the window, and there was a good chunk of that window that was uh, that was literally uh, removed. I mean, the windows are like four inches thick, so it's not a big problem, but. You know, you're talking about an inch of window was uh, tossed out. And that's with a pea-sized piece of space stuff. And the, th- the thing that's so irresponsible about it or reckless is it's not just the U.S. or China who have people up there. The rest of your own people are up there. I know. I mean, it's uh, no one understands how crazy this is. All right, we're done, guys. Uh, coming up, uh, the bipartisan infrastructure package and uh, who is not getting any of the money or not getting a lot of money. And I'll share that story with you when we come back. This is KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Gary and Shannon, we say KFI. KOSP HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. They have found him. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. A search is on in Sunland right now for an armed man. Cops say could be responsible for numerous burglaries in the San Fernando Valley. 
The LAPD and K-9 units have set up a perimeter near the 210. Police say a man who fits the description of the guy who carried out about a dozen burglaries in the Shadow Hills neighborhood is barricaded in a home in Sunland. This woman told KTLA people are on alert. The night that he broke into the house down the street, I was home alone, so I was like locking all the doors, and every time my ring would go off, I would like check my ring to see who it was. Police say the burglaries have been going on since last month. This, this is creating a traffic problem in the, on the 210 area, and we'll talk about that more with Nick Taliochini in a minute. News is brought to you by veteran-owned Semper Solaris. A program to help small businesses catch up on overdue rent from the pandemic will soon be up and running in L.A. County. Small businesses in unincorporated L.A. County can start applying for rent relief grants of up to $40,000 starting tomorrow. County Supervisor Holly Mitchell says she's nervous that businesses only have one week to apply. Most micro-businesses I know are so busy keeping the doors open and their brick-and-mortar facility that they rarely lift their head up to take the time to understand what resources are available to them. There are limitations for who can apply for the money, including that eligible businesses must have an annual gross revenue of no more than $1 million. Blake Trolley, KFI News. Parents are planning a rally this morning to protest against the L.A. School District's COVID-19 vaccination mandate. Yesterday was the deadline for teachers to prove they've been fully vaccinated as a condition of their continued employment. Students at LAUSD also need to be vaccinated. Those over 12 need to get their first dose by November 21st and a second no later than December 19th or they won't be allowed on school campuses starting in January. Parents plan to protest outside the LAUSD headquarters at 10 o'clock. Pfizer says it signed a licensing agreement that will give about half the world's population access to its experimental COVID-19 pills. Other companies will be able to make the pill available in 95 low to middle income countries. Pfizer's agreement is with the Medicines Patent Pool, which is a public health organization backed by the UN. President Biden says his $1.2 trillion infrastructure package is going to help everyday Americans. It can deliver real results for real people. You see in ways that really matter each and every day to each person out there. And we're taking a monumental step forward to build back better as a nation. Biden signed the infrastructure bill into law yesterday. The package includes more than $500 billion for updating roads, broadband, internet, and electric utilities over the next eight years. It's also expected to create 2 million new jobs. Several mayors in Orange County say they're happy the new trillion-dollar infrastructure bill allows for local control. It is the cities who know their own needs best. Buena Park Mayor Connor Trout says the bill also allows local hiring for many of the long-term improvements. Smoother roads, less traffic, clearer water, and greener energy. Irvine Mayor Farrakhan says $100 million will help the digital divide. So that every resident has high-speed internet along with affordability. The state will get more than $25 billion for highways, more than $9 billion for public transit, and more than $4 billion for bridges. But there's also funding for protection against cyber attacks and wildfires. At Irvine Civic Center, Corbin Carson, KFI News. And jury deliberations are about to begin in the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse, who's accused of killing two people and hurting another during protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Lawyers wrapped up closing arguments yesterday. Defense lawyer Mark Richards says Rittenhouse was protecting himself when he shot three men last year. There are no winners in this case, but putting Kyle Rittenhouse down for something he was privileged to do will serve no legitimate purpose. The prosecutors say Rittenhouse came to the protest armed with a rifle because he wanted to shoot someone. He's facing life in prison. Let's go back to that police activity I was telling you about in Sunland. On the 5 South, uh, well, actually, rather, on the 5, on the 210 East and Westbound and Sunland Boulevard, the offerings in both directions are shut down, as Jen was talking about at the top of the report. This is all due to that uh, police search that it continues for an armed prowler in the area. So uh, eastbound 210 at uh, Sunland Boulevard, that is off limits. Plan for Lucida Canyon or Wheatland as your alternate to hop off the freeway. On the uh, westbound side of the 210, same story, uh, it'll be Lucida Canyon or Wheatland as your alternate to get off the 210. Also, thanks for the heads up from Dwayne uh, on the KFI traffic tip line, pound 250 on your cell phone, keyword KFI traffic traffic. Problems for your driving as you're making your way through Burbank on the fine southbound past Hollywood Way. Four cars smash has a two left lane shut down and that is causing you some heavy delays heading southbound on the five as you come out of the Sunland area. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Polly Well, the Rams have lost two in a row, falling to the 49ers by a score of 31 to 10. Coach Sean McVay has these words of warning to LA's upcoming opponents. 
We'll look inwardly. We're going to figure this thing out, and we're going to come back freaking swinging. I promise you that, all right, uh, these last seven games of the regular season. Okay, whoa, 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 settle down, settle down. The Anaheim Ducks go for eight in a row when they face the Washington Capitals at Honda Center at seven. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. If you're looking to uh, just get out of your house, it doesn't matter whatever reason, you know, you're moving, you're downsizing, uh, say you need the money, financial issues, or you've inherited a piece of property, uh, normally you list the house with uh, a real estate agent for 6%, and then you clean, you paint, you repair, and then the buyer goes through your house, all the potential buyers, you have to be gone. Uh, there's a much better, different way of doing that, and that's selling your home for a fair price with none of that hassle. No buyer walks through the house, you don't have to do anything, and you don't pay a commission. And that's what directbuyers.com is all about. Directbuyers.com will buy your house. They'll give you an honest, no-obligation offer, uh, even a $15,000 cash advance, up to $15,000 before closing to help with your move, and they'll never, ever lowball you. That's why I like this company so much. Directbuyers.com, directbuyers.com. Call 844-242-SELL, 844-242-SELL, visit directbuyers.com. Spectrum Business is proud to support small businesses with the best internet and phone services at the best value. But we want to do more. So now, for a limited time, get one month of services for free. That's right, one month on us. Get 200 megabits per second internet and business phone, and even TV, all free for one month. Plus, free installation. Call 855-757-4544 or visit spectrum.com slash business today. Restrictions apply. Your KFI Financial Report is brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is up 174, S&P up 16, NASDAQ up 40, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California, penny higher than yesterday, we're at 469. With a range of commercial fire and security solutions, Bay Alarm can protect it all with just one call. Cloudy day ahead and much cooler than we've had. Highs at the coast will just be in the low to mid 60s. We'll be in the upper 60s to low 70s for Metro LA and OC. Mid to upper 80s. Uh, mid to upper 70s, that is, for the valleys and the IE. Right now it's 71 in Rancho Santa Margarita, 53 in Laguna Beach, 53 in Azusa, and 56 in Malibu. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. <laughs> that we are covering. The Kyle Rittenhouse jury uh, is, uh, well, the 12 jurors and the six alternate, uh, alternates are being selected right now by lottery, and they will begin deliberations well, probably within the next few minutes. And so that's going on. And uh, Pfizer signed a deal. This is a very big deal to allow manufacturers all over the world to make uh, the pill that it has uh, making the treatment more available to half the world's population. And so uh, that's moving along. Now, uh, yesterday the president signed uh, his infrastructure package, the bipartisan infrastructure package, and it's hugely popular with Republicans because I think, what, one and a half Republicans showed up uh, at the signing and the rest of them were all Democrats. And I want to go into it a little bit. Now, uh, everybody agrees on infrastructure. I mean, that is not too much of a political issue other than the, the amount of money that it's going to cost. As far as the social spending program, which the Democrats wanted to connect to this infrastructure bill, that didn't go, and it made a lot of sense not to have them connected. They are two different matters, and that is going to be a mess, uh, the Build Better Back program, uh, the BBB. Okay, Better Business Bureau program. Now, let's talk a little bit about the infrastructure. Uh, when we talk about infrastructure, this is for infrastructure. $1.2 trillion. You know, we're throwing, we're banding the word trillion as if we understand what a trillion is. It is incomprehensible what a trillion of anything is. And yet, we spend that kind of money. Uh, we, as Americans. So uh, let's go ahead and start uh, breaking this down. 
Also, when we talk about a $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, everybody assumes it's going to be in one year. It's not. It's over five years or ten years. And all of a sudden, uh, let's say you have $1.2 trillion over ten years, that's $120 billion a year. $120 billion, that's pocket change for the federal government. So this one goes over five years, $550 billion of new federal investment in infrastructure, bridges, roads, broadband, water, energy systems. And uh, that's pretty important because uh, every year the American Society of Civil Engineers rates infrastructure, I mean all over the world. Uh, the United States has gotten a big C minus score. That is ridiculous for a first world country. I remember driving in France, uh, I don't know how many years ago, and every thing, not only are all the roads spectacular, but every single back road where you go through these little villages and these outlying places, beautifully paved, it seemed like brand new roads, that's infrastructure. We don't come close to that. And the issue also is, here's where the Democrats are claiming uh, that all of this pays for itself through all kinds of measures without raising taxes. In the meantime, the Congressional Budget Office, nonpartisan, incidentally, has nothing to do with politics, said, oh no, that's not going to happen. Uh, the package is going to add $256 billion to the deficit over the next 10 years. Uh, yeah, so let's not kid ourselves, and it's always that case. So $110 billion specifically for roads, bridges, infrastructure projects. Biden won at $159 billion. 40 for bridge repairs specifically, replacement and rehabilitation of bridges. I, I don't know what rehabilitation of bridges is all about. You have drunk bridges out there. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, the White House said this is the biggest bridge investment since the construction of the interstate highway system, which started in the 1950s under Dwight Eisenhower. Uh, 20% of the nation's highways and roads are in poor condition. That's 173,000 miles. And 45,000 bridges are in poor condition. Uh, 11 billion for transportation safety uh, to reduce crashes and fatalities. A billion to reconnect communities, uh, especially a disproportionately black neighborhoods that were divided by highways and other infrastructure. So I guess you get rid of the highways, you put them over the, the communities, I don't know how that's going to work. Transit and rail. Uh, the package is $39 billion, Biden wanted $85 billion. Uh, passenger and freight rail, $66 billion. Where is that money going? Oh, it's going to the Northeast, we're not going to see any of it. As a matter of fact, we're not going to see any for the bullet train. Uh, for a couple reasons. First of all, that's money. You might as well just dig a hole and throw money in it, as far as the bullet train is concerned. Also, there's a huge fight between the federal government and the U.S., between the federal government and California, because the feds are saying, because of the pension plans that you got, you, California, have instituted under new law, it's in violation of federal law. No money. Thank you. No infrastructure. No rail money. Broadband upgrade, uh, I think that's hugely important especially for people who don't have broadband. Uh, it is impossible to work, go to school without broadband. And since a lot of people work at home, and certainly kids do homework at home, uh, I was uh, yesterday on the news, I was watching a story about uh, what the kids did in poor neighborhoods to do homework uh, when school was shut down. They go to Starbucks in the parking lot, Walmart, just to get the broadband. Uh, so, how's it going to be paid? Well, uh, they're going to say it's taxes. A lot of it is just transferring money that's already there. Unused COVID funds, um, that could give us $22 billion, according to the CBO. Uh, also, delaying Trump administration programs, uh, for example, changing how drugs are priced and paid for in Medicare. So, there are ways of moving money around. Uh, that's the shuffle game, three-card Monty that the government play, uh, uh, plays. But there's money there. I mean, it's in the budget. They just move it around. In the meantime, 
uh, a big chunk of it is not in the budget. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it makes sense. We're going to pay him more money. Welcome to Tap Heaven. Coming up, uh, schools are embracing a way to ki keep kids in school. And it seems to be working. It's a, a, a new model. Well, it's been around for a bit, but uh, school districts all over the country are moving towards it. I'll explain how that works uh, when we come back. But first, uh, before we go to Jennifer Jones Lee, uh, it, we can win $1,000 okay. when we come back. How smooth was that segue? All right, uh, Jen, what's going on? Jury selection will soon start in the sex trafficking trial of Ghislaine Maxwell in New York City. The 59-year-old has consistently pleaded not guilty to charges. He groomed multiple girls for sex with her boyfriend, Jeffrey Epstein. The United Nations food assistant brand says it has a plan to prevent 42 million people from starving. SpaceX founder and Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently said he would answer the plea for him to donate $6 billion dollars if the World Food Program could describe how it would be spent. On the 30th anniversary, super deluxe edition of Nirvana's album, Nevermind, is out now. The reissue includes super deluxe editions featuring four complete live shows from Nirvana's Ascension. And we're taking a look at your job. By the way, the Kyle Rittenhouse jury now just got the order to head off and deliberate. And uh, I'll keep you posted. Should they come back with a verdict anytime soon? We'll clear up your job on the 14 with DKFI in the sky next.